Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial campaign in Realistic Progression Zero, the campaign mod for the Realism Overhaul suite of Realism mods in Kerbal Space Program. We are continuing on from the last episode uh, where we, in that episode, launched our Venus mission and we decided at a late date that it would be a great idea uh, to rush build uh, man, I, I've played a lot of Civ, so I talk about rush building, uh, to rush build a um, yet another Mars probe. So we're actually sending three probes, th three launches to Mars, of which two of them are these triplet probes, where one will enter Mars orbit, one will land on Phobos, and one will land on Deimos. So... We are currently three days, nine hours, and 54 minutes from when Flyby Finder claimed our absolute best Mars window was. With its two kilometer in insertion delta V cost. We're also quite some time from a Callisto flyby. And we're also still 27 days from our Mercury launch. Um, so. Let us go ahead and warp until I think we want Hmm. I think we're gonna want to launch Owl four a little over a day ahead of the window. Then we're going to want to want to launch. Uh, let's call this something useful. Um, we'll call that Sparrow Five, and this will become Sparrow Six. Well, actually, no. Let's we'll we'll call the Sparrow Six, and we'll just launch it first. Oops, wrong one. Rename. Okay. Sanity has returned. Now, as I was saying, we, I think we want to warp until just a little over a day before. Something like one day and 12 or 13 hours. That's two days. Alright, so that's completed. Um... Okay, so let's go ahead to Owl 4. As usual, we will target the moon. And this one we're using rather more of the required delta V, I think. Oh no, we still actually will have quite a quite a bit of spare delta V on this launch. I guess. Um, and actually, I think we want these here, don't we? Yeah, so limit acceleration is off. That's going to help us some. 160, is that appropriate for what we're going to have to do? Um, we're going to need about 2 kilometers per second off of the Mariner. 
Yeah, that's probably an appropriate turn. We might even have to go up to 180, but I doubt it. We can handle that as we go along. Let's lower that to something sane. Launch into plane of target is in 23 hours and 47. The heck with it. We're going now. We're 15 minutes past the window, so we'll just launch now. Whoops, are we still warping or something? Apparently. Alright. Autopilot is on. Up we go. It is a night launch, tragically. We will be launching into daylight, which is the worst possible combination. And yet, we will nonetheless be okay. Alright, we're definitely going to want to head south a bit. Because we are... The Earth has turned a little bit further than it should have, which means we want to be launching south to catch up to where the plane of the moon actually is. So we're going to hold our little southerly heading a bit longer than we otherwise might. Maybe up to 1,500 or even more meters per second. up on one I'm going to want to turn back. 1,300 meters per second. So let's... 1,400. Alright, now we're going to head back. Why is that taking us further to the... Oh, that's why. seconds until first stage burnout. Our apogee is rising nicely. First stage cut off. RCS to on. And we have good ignition on the NK-19. 
us at the car line. We're going to ditch our fairings. We need to pitch up a fair amount. high enough that we are getting sunlight. Just a little tiny bit of sunlight. How's our inclination doing? It's lowering. We don't have to be super precise. The main point is just that we're broadly in the plane of the ecliptic, so we can perform the ejection maneuver we need to perform. We don't have to nail our exact plane with the moon because we are again doing a trans we are doing our transfer um, in such a way that you know we're we're at the ascending or descending node of the target planet's orbit, so we'll arrive at their Descending or ascending note, vice versa. Alright, it looks like point two is about as good as we're going to do with this. Apogee for the first time, perhaps not for the final time. Okay, that's that's a fairly close alignment with the moon's orbital plane. We're still raising our apogee, it might even hit. It'll hit maybe 199 before. Probably just 185.3 or so. Falling back down from we were at what 198 or so. 
198.3, now we're down to 196. It's a kilometer every eight seconds. We're maintaining our 15 degrees above the horizon pitch. Angle of attack is increasing. A minute and a quarter burn time remaining on this stage. We are quite effectively maintaining our relative inclination, which is great. I love the new relative inclination code, the, the new orbit inclination stuff. It was added to MechJeb. It makes my life so much easier. It's ridiculously better. Um, all right, almost 200 meters per second descent rate. That's not awesome. We might want to consider pitching up rather more severely. Yeah, I think I didn't pitch up as much as I should have. Let's pitch up quite a bit more. There will be a fair amount of steering losses, but, you know, such is life. Because... Ah, that's what's going on with MechJeb. When I stage, it will burn the RCS to provide ullage before actually throttling up on those engines. That's wonderful. That is also a great change. Alright, so we're at a quite aggressive pitch, and that's because we want to kill off all this vertical speed quickly. I had wondered in the last episode what was going on there. Now I know. It's because it was firing that RCS to provide ullage for the stage before actually throttling up on these engines. That's great. Alright, turn RCS off now. Alright, so this is going to be a fairly low parking orbit. We're pitched up 30 almost 30.1 degrees. No, uh, almost sorry, almost 31 degrees. <laughs> We're only gaining about a meter per second squared in terms of vertical speed. Our steering losses are through the roof. So we did not launch optimally, that's for sure. That is for darn sure. Alright, now we can pitch down. That was a bit much. All right, we'll pitch back up. Now we can pitch down again. Man, those, those Hydrolox plumes are pretty. Closer and closer every day. Six, five. Pitch down quite a bit more.
ready to hit the kill engines button. Okay, that will do. that the best is in five days. Well, we're gonna... We're going now. Fifty minutes, huh? That is the node that we have. It's in 50 minutes. That's half an orbit away. That's not awesome. It's half an orbit on the light side away. Alright, so we're going to orient ourselves. Well, actually, we are oriented more or less perfectly at the sun, but we can get we can form a slightly more perfect union with the sun. Why is... Th uh, I guess we, we overturned a little bit. No, this way. with the sun, so we hopefully will have the lowest boil off we possibly can, although I'm still worried it will be a bit too much for 50 minutes on the light side. That's really, really not awesome. So, that node is in 44 minutes, so let's warp to 38 minutes before, and see how much delta V we lose. So far we're gaining, because we were boiling off the excess liquid hydrogen we brought. And then at some point we're going to start actually losing. Or not. Or we actually we brought enough liquid hydrogen that we can we can do that whole coast. That's great. Alright, now it's time to reorient. Uh, tragically you can no longer see our little triplet of probes here. Because um, we have the two moon landers along with the, the large Mars probe. Um, Okay, 3662. Now, we have the luxury of dumping some of our spare propellants. This we also need to dump quite a lot of.
Okay. That's fine. Now let's refine. So that's a good 400 meters per second more than we need, but still we'll have a much higher acceleration, shorter burn, because we're burning the end of the stage rather than going to leave excess propellant in the stage. Okay, so we look sufficiently lined up. Let's go ahead and ex tell MacJib to execute that burn. Don't know why it's doing it now, rather than closer to. That's really bad of MacJib. That is a serious issue in MacJib. I don't know why it's doing that. It just starts burning immediately when you tell it to, rather than waiting to when it should. I think I'm going to actually have to abort that execution and wait a little longer. Because we know we only... it's three minutes. So now it's executed. I mean, we had less than four minutes of burn time remaining, so starting two minutes before the node made no sense at all. Less than 30 seconds to the node. You can see the just through the hunt and through KSP's edge highlighting, we can see the well rim rim lighting actually PPFX is not actually doing anything right now. Um, you can see all the the probes parts, the scansat antenna, the Ranger Block Three additional core, a tank, the large one-ton satellite bus then the one kilonewton thrusters and the RCS. So all this stuff has NTO and MMH. Uh, we might get a slightly higher specific impulse with aerozine, but we can actually cram more in with MMH. Uh, it's, if memory serves, it's slightly denser. Um, seconds past the node. A minute 40 burn time remaining. Let's we'll see how close we get to our correct ejection maneuver. per second remaining. We are at T plus one minute. With about 50 seconds burn time remaining. So we'll end up... meh. We'll end up okay. Escaped. We're now adding excess hyperbolic velocity. We're going from C3 equals 0 to C3 equals 15. And burnout. Well, cut off. There's still another 11 seconds burn time remaining. How close are we to a 
and intercept. We overburned, as seems to be always the case. All right, so let's focus on Mars. Let's bring that periapsis down as far as we can. Um, oops, a little, a little too close. Okay. So that's going to need quite a fine tune. That's that's annoying. So let's add a fine tune. It's in 166 days and it costs 15 meters per second. Very well. So, now that we have finished that burn, we can now discard. Whoops, what is the. that stupid. That RCS was using a propellant it shouldn't be using. We've staged the wrong RCS. Uh, so we got rid of that. And. gotten away from our stage, which we can now mark that as debris. I mean, I guess we could just blow it up, but don't want to damage the probe. So, let's look again at Mars. Move it back down to about optimal. Okay, and we need to... Where's the antenna? Those are the engines. Come on. All right. That's solar panels, that's an antenna. Activate and target the Earth. Okay. So let's warp until we have some sunlight. Now we can extend our solar panels. Hmm. That those didn't trigger, but that's okay. We have enough. The wrong solar panels have extended. What do we do? Um All right, so that is all good. And so now we have to add the SOI alarm. And we can go ahead and launch the next one. Um, but with apologies, I have to break the episode here. Uh, and we'll resume again in just a few minutes. I will see you shortly.